Hello, it's Fab1 here. I'm back with another video. Sorry, I've been inactive for a while. Uh, Redstone wise, that is. But I've come up with this new creation. Uh, it's a card dispenser. It's pretty compact. I was going to make a video on this one, but I, I realized it's. <laughs> I made this one like a long time ago. But the thing with this, though, it's really clean. You know, there's this clean wall and a clean chest that you can put cards in. Um. I mean, if you guys really want to spend this much redstone on it, having it nice, I guess I can make a tutorial on it. But, um, this is the new design. This is the bare minimum right here, alright? So, this is it. It works just like this. Uh, so, your cards go in there. Oh, man, that's gonna mess up right now. Dang it. Alright. Let's not try to touch that. Okay, I actually gotta do it because I can remove it. Okay, so this is it. Um, what you do? So the idea is that you're gonna have um, a little pathway down here, so you don't accidentally enter. So if you were making a Nether tunnel, you know this would be. I mean, you you could maybe have a, like a tunnel right here. Like um, picture this as walls. As so you come in here, and then you click, right click on the cart, and then it sends you off and. Uh, it pops out a new one. Uh, this is not needed though, the back 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 part thing. This is just to show that when you get back, the cart will be dispensed in there and you will well, I kinda glitch down right now, but you will be put right here if you have a block here, I think. Let's just test that real fast. Mm hmm It kinda depends on what blocks you get around you where it puts it. Um but yeah, so that is pretty cool. So, uh, you this is the bare minimum, as I said. You can put blocks pretty much everywhere. Um, and uh, this is kind of intentional. You can either choose to have the redstone piece here, or you can have it there. That is all up to you if you want to have like a wall here. But then you can have something on top of here. So... A little bit of redstone is going to show, but not too much. So you can put blocks. It's going to update the tripwires now because, you know, I'm, I'm building it one up. But you can have blocks there, or you can either skip that and uh, put a block there. That's up to you. Or you could make it a ridiculous long wire, which would make it on count pack, which I can actually show you right now. Um, only thing you have to have in mind is that you have to... To power this block right here, so we can actually do that if you if you want. I guess that kind of bugged up now because I'm not whatever. <laughs> anyway, so if you want to like have the wires completely covered, I guess you could do. Uh, you could have a ridiculous long wire like this. So you can, for example, have like have it like that, and you you can just fiddle around with it. It's gonna do some pulse things now because I. Because I'm messing with it. But that will also work. But uh, I'm trying to make this as compact as possible. This torch, though, has to be there to power that. Or you could make another ridiculous long wire. But I'm just going to get rid of this right now. I'll just get rid of everything. And, like, <laughs> cards are going to fire off right now, but it's, it's fine. So we want to repair this thing. Like so, we got a redstone piece here. Let's just uh, go ahead and destroy all these cards. So as you can see, there was a lot of more cards here, but they went down on there, and that worked out nicely. And you gotta have in mind, you can put a half slab or a stair here. Um, that that is for any any one of these um, these type of things, cause you can't have a block underneath a tripwire hook. So you just have to have in mind that you must either have glowstone, a stair, or a half slab right here. If you want to have a block up on top of the helper. So let's just... I'm going to actually just cover this up and give you an idea what it's going to look like. Um, so you see a picture. This is a wall and this going out to another tunnel. That's going to be how we want it, I guess. And uh, so you just... I'm going to spawn one in, though. It doesn't matter how long you stay there. Um, when you leave, that's when it puts a new one down. So let's just go back. So this entire thing is thing is really easy to make. What you do, you put uh, this is your rail coming in, and at the end, like so, you want to put a powered rail 
all right and then you want to get a normal rail just put it here and here you can put all your powered rails you gotta have a little bit of power rails before you get into the cactus so you will get through the minecart standing on this block so make sure you do that so now you put a, a, a track right there uh, reconnect that you just place that so this would turn the right way if it already is the right way you don't have to do that of course and actually let's uh, I forgot let's put a hopper here um, I need a dropper so this is where your dropper gonna be and then you're gonna face two hoppers into that and now you can put your track on top so what you're gonna do now you wanna put a piece of sand on top of here with a cactus and that is what's gonna destroy your minecart so let's move it on when you get here you wanna have a comparator pointing out like this with the block and then the redstone piece like that and then a sandstone piece this will power the, the dropper um, this usually don't work for item elevators and whatnot because the items passes through too fast but in this case you don't have to do that because there's never gonna be like two mine cards in the same spot going in oh well I don't know but <laughs> hopefully not so that's now going to go into a dispenser that's going to stay here, like so. So now you just want to put your uh, a last hopper pointing into here. And this is where your minecarts will all end up. Let's put a minecart here and push it in there. Okay, so no. what you want to do now, you want to put down your trip, trip wire hooks like this. You want to go one block away. Your head will be touching it. And when you get in the minecart, that's what makes you move. I don't need the cactus anymore else not put that there so now you go on the other side you can actually make this as far back as you want if you for example had a square room and you wanted this to be your wall you could put your trip bar like this and just with string going all the way and it will still work but have in mind then you have to make some customizable wires um, along here and to there so what you have to do then is you have to um, to put a torch right here powering the track and then and then just have a have a um a wire going into this block powering this dispenser but we're not going to do that uh for the sake of compactness so we got our one string like this now go two blocks out put your thing like that your tree wire and that'll make um little redstone poles every time your head touches it when you're in the minecart so out from this you want to put a redstone torch on this block with a piece of redstone on there and now you want to put a block like this that's gonna fire the dispenser once but it doesn't matter so now you want to put a redstone torch like that and that will turn off when you that will turn on when you touch this so your minecart will go like that and uh, as you can see you can stand on here as long as you want um, the minecart will come after you leave the area so I think that is pretty much it let's have it a uh, let's give it a test so you want to put your your ending of whatever track you're making right and you can put that in any place you know it doesn't matter just make sure you're at a decent speed when you hit all the wiring so let's get a button going here this is the most default um, button pusher thing I don't know and uh, I'm just gonna power these so it actually moves us now let's spawn in some mine carts and fill up the dispenser like so that is actually full and now we want to enter it just push the button and then we should it should all get dispensed as you can see this is full now let's give it another test you fire that and that should be a dispenser I'm, I'm sorry <laughs> that is going to be a dispenser so it it actually can dispense the minecarts this is a horrible tutorial but it'll have to do because I don't have a lot of time um, let's just plunk the last one in there I guess no anyway so we enter it it shoots it out shoots us out we go back we we'll hit the cactus and um, it will get refilled 
So that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed my little design here. Um, please, please, please let me know if you can come up with anything more compact. I'd like to see that. Um, but that is it for this video, and I'll catch you guys next time.